I've received a gift, a box of gifts from Pam and Gary Smith, some of their, my subscribers. And they send me, they watch my cooking video. Uh, I didn't have white pepper for my video. So they send me two jars of white pepper. Oops, let me pull it out. They have to, it packed really well. So there's the second one. And they send me, I don't know if you can see this, about uh, another thing of spices of crushed rosemary. And uh, I didn't have fun by itself, so they sent me rubbed sage and thyme, thyme leaves. So, so perfect. I love the spices. They're glass jars I have to be careful when I'm storing in because they will break easily in this year. They sent a little bag of biscuits with real beef and bison for Maxi. <laughs> they thought of my little dog. Hope she, hope he'll eat him. So that's that. And they also, she made this. It's a beautiful shawl. And I love the colors. And that'll re be really nice for the winter time. It has a triangle on the bottom. I'm trying to get it in the camera. And it'll wrap it around. So it's beautiful. Or 90 something, almost 100. But anyhow, that's, it's going to be really warm. So look at the colors. It's really pretty. So thank you. Thank you, Pam and Gary. I appreciate that. This is when I went to the, get the mail. So I also received, I'm running out of room here. Uh, I won a prize on Dream on Wheels. And I, they sent me a 2000 milliamp solar charger. And that's the, what I won on their, uh, I believe it was their monetization stream. And this is what they send me. So this is pretty cool. It'll charge uh, anything pretty much with USB. It's really nice. It has a compass on it. And uh, I have to really check it all out. But it also has a flashlight with double beam. Let's see. I'm not sure how it works. I'll have to read the manual. But I do know that the probably needs to be charged up. Um, so anyhow, that's that from one of my wonderful subscribers, who is also a moderator on my channel, Linda Barker, sent me a card, and she sent me some stamps to cover, so I can mail letters and stickers and things out. I, I sent her some sticker, one of my stickers, so she wanted to make sure I had enough stamps to mail out to other people. I want this towel, and I got a sticker too, from Camping Therapy on their video stream. I received from Toppy, another one of my subscribers, thanking me. She said, since you ended the membership program, I'm sending you a little cash to make up for it. I don't send any money on my phone because it's not secure. So anyhow, from Toppy. So thank you, Toppy. And okay, you guys know I don't have much room. And I have a subscriber, and her name is Chris. Uh, okay, this is a gift from Chris. CH in my chat on my live streams. So this is the Insignia air fryer that Chris sent me. It's 13 and a half inches tall, 12 and a half inches wide, and 12 and a half inches deep. My counter is less than 24 inches deep and 18 inches wide. I can't fit it under the shelf. I can't fit it over the shelf. I, yeah, I tried to adjust the shelf. Still wouldn't work. Nothing I tried would work. So if you hear me talking really fast, I double speeded this so we can get through it. It's a very long video. I don't want you to have to sit through 35 or 40 minutes. So today I'm going to try to help you understand why I feel I can't keep this. You can see this air fryer, how much room it's taken on my counter. I don't have any room to prepare, prepare goods. This is too low. I have to do. I have to really get down to work on this table. That I have a pull-out table here. I can't do that when I cook, and it's going to be in my way. So I'm going to show you how much space I have, people. This is my sink. I put a cutting board on there. Sometimes get a little extra surface, but it's not very stable, so it slides around when I try to work. To use my coffee maker, I have to pull it out here, over here, in order to fill it because the top won't open under there. I have to get behind things just to get my soaps and um, get soap and sponges for my toothbrush and my comb. So I don't have much space. I really don't. That's a little fingernail brush. 
So I barely, barely fit the, uh, air, the toaster oven on the shelf, barely. So you can see how much, I just really don't have space. Every nook and cranny is, cranny is utilized. I have a little bit of space up here when I need to set something up here when I'm cooking or doing things. I need to have a little bit of space to set things down. So that's where I keep my wipes. I have to get behind these just to get my cooking utensils. I have more down in here. And so I have a little bit of space back there, but remember, in a rig, when you have to move it every couple days to go to town to get anything, you have to secure everything. When you're securing everything, either either it goes on the floor or in the sink. That's what it comes down to. And if you have any dirty dishes, you don't have room in the sink to put things. <laughs> so up here, everything is used. I have crammed up there, and even that stuff has to be secured with either, either, either double stick tape or double-sided Velcro. My medicine cabinet, which is a homemade, I don't have a lot of prescription medications, but I have things that you use every day, like eye drops and Q-tips and um, anything that you use on a regular basis, and I have a month supply of my vitamins and what have you that I take all the time, up there, all the time. That's spilled all the way across, including, I keep my deodorant up there. <laughs> so, uh, in here, this is a cab, and you can see, that's Maxie's little bed. And I can't get in there very deep with my feet, because if I do, I can step in his bed. In here, I keep a little fan here when I travel. When I drive, I can't have that fan directly on him. That fan is for on me, because I don't have air, con air conditioning in the cab. So you can see there's no place to put anything in here either. And even the dash, it goes down. Really so, and it will, everything will touch the windshield. So the fridge, the ice chest and freezer is one lid. So I have to really work to keep things organized in here. And it's not really level, so things slide around. If I stack them, they slide right down. Okay, so that's the cab. As you can see, I do have things in the cab. I have hooks for little jackets, an extra little bag for things. Um, all my wires are over here on this side. I have reflectix on my windows. So to keep the really hot heat out of here. This seat doesn't move at all. So I have the sweet stuff back in there. So I can, so I can add a little hole there. Um, let's see. So here's my chair right, in, right as I back out of there. This, I sit there and I pull out this little table. This is a pull-out table. I use that for my laptop. When I work, do live streams, do videos, do editing, watch videos, anything I do for Ospot, this work, I use that table. And sometimes I use that one, but it usually is too much air from the air conditioner blowing in my eyes and they dry out really bad. So I do have a little bit of floor space right now because I just moved my little bench seat I had there. It was taken up all the floor space and it stuck out to about here, which just took it over half of the floor space. And I, it was nice because I could put things in it, but it just didn't fit and also went into the doorway a little bit. So, and then if I run my heater in the winter, it could get overheated. So, I've been editing, working on a video. So the, the bed, I keep my pots and pans, I keep my toaster oven things in here because when I travel, the door opens on the toaster oven and every, everything flies out. So, so I keep a lot of things in there. And then that here bucket is all my pots and pans. And behind that, I can't get to anything. So if I put things back there, I can't get to it. This is where I keep my toilet under here. You can see a little curtain. But also I keep things back there, but I can't get to them. There's an opening from the top and you have to move the toilet all the way out, crawl in there to get to things. So yes, I have a little space there, but it's really hard to get to anything. That's my little box that I keep all my craft supplies in. Uh, my hats sit on top of it. I have an extra pan back there when this one goes bad because it, they do. So keep my toilet paper and paper towels extra stuff there. So this used to be set up as a bookshelf, but I can't use it there. I have extra dish soap and lotion. That's where I keep the drone for now. And then I have food, a lot of food back here, beans and uh, sugar and di different things like that. These are all my cleaning supplies here. And also, not just cleaning supplies, extra food, oatmeal. These are all my syrup and cooking oils. Pancake mix, hot cereal, cream wheat back there, um, flour, biscuit mix, all those kinds of things. Back here I have a little thing for personal care and my camera back in there. And then way back there is for the controller, for the drone. And I have to move everything to get to it. So you can see every space is filled up. Here, that's where, that's where I have to store my bath towel on top of other things. My books, extra wipes. In here, I have my dog shampoo and little uh, ointment for the dog and this, or iPads for the dog. And uh, my towels. All of the towels, dish towels, hand towels, dish cloths, bath wash cloths. So everything's there. This is where I have my keyboard, and I cover it to keep it from getting too dusty. This is a music rack to put a music up on the keyboard when you're playing. This is where I keep my ukulele, it's just bungeed up there. You can see, and I have cords everywhere here, because I have a light. I have, everything's plugged in. This is my eye mask, when my eyes get too dried out, really bad. I have to plug that in to have a heated eye mask. Oops. Um, so there's that. And of course, you always have cords hanging everywhere when you're living in a small rig. That's my Wave 6 heater. I will show you behind here. There's a little bit of space back there. You can't see much, but I have—I can't get to it. So I have thing, a few things back there that I never have to get to. I think I can store my tripod in there, but this is broken. I bought it. It's brand new, and it's broken already. It didn't work. So, uh, I don't know. Okay. So I keep my gimbal in here. It gets dusty under there. That's all my paperwork except what I have in the drawer, uh, in the file, and it's in the way. So you don't see any wall space except down low, which would be bumping into it when I sit there. So a lot of times I move my chair up against that wall, and then I'll turn it, and that's where I work my office from there. So, okay, so that's some. Um, so I had to raise my blanket up. 
to show you this full out table. You've seen this before, and most people have. It comes out quite a ways, but it's directly in front of the air conditioner. And when I run the air conditioner, the air blows in my eyes, and my eyes are really bad, so I can't do that. So this is the top drawer, and you can see it's crammed with stuff in here. And I have layers and layers of stuff. Keep my stickers and my cards that I send out to people. All my receipts are here. I have to go through them. I'm going to have to find a tax man. So there's some odds and ends things for the ukulele, like picks and tuners and things like that. My labeler with my address on it. Um, pen, ink pens and all kinds of things. Envelopes. So everything is in there. This drawer, second drawer, is all food, all the way to the back. I have a ton of food. <laughs> Sorry. So I have to move my little step stool, which I use this to get up in the bed and also for a footstool. And this is the bottom of the drawer. It doesn't come out easily. It sticks on the carpet. On. So this is a completely full all the way to the back. These are boots that are, another subscriber sent me dehydrated boots. I don't have any room for any more food, people. I have tons of food. Plenty of food. You can see I have everything. Okay. So that's that. Bear with me. I have to set that down so I can close this drawer. Okay. So where are we at? So I'm going to close this. I have to close it just to get into these drawers. And I have my silverware in here, but underneath it, I have more stuff. All kinds of stuff in there. So I have to move this to get to anything underneath. I did keep this drawer just for bags and baggies and Ziplocs and aluminum foil and parchment paper and things like that because I don't want to move everything to get to it. This is all the odds and ends things I use in the kitchen. Uh, my dog nail clippers. <laughs> uh, lids for the containers. You can see all these lids. Okay, I keep cutting boards on here and this cutting board that's up on the sink, keep it right down in here. Uh, under the sink, I'll show you. This is where I keep my little freezer. It holds quite a bit. I think it's 18 liters or something. I keep my dish pan under there. And I keep my spray bottle for my eye mask and my hair there. I have cleaning supplies all along the side of this, as you can see. And there's no place to put anything else in there. So, so I showed you the drawers. In here, I keep all kinds of odds and ends. Hang on. I have to make some room to just you can so see, see it. I have baskets back there built up. They're full of stuff. And I have to pull everything out in the front to get to them. So that's the way I have to deal with, with that. I usually keep a notepad up here. Junk food I want to get to is here. Dog trees are back there. This is where I keep my jewelry and lipsticks. And this, whoops, of course, I'm not getting sound. Uh, so when I do videos, I have to adjust everything, of course. And so my walls, I have no place on the walls. That's where my mirror is. I have control charges, inverters, fuse boxes, fire extinguishers, more cleaners and safety stuff like bug sprays and pepper spray and things like that in here. On this wall, this is my closet. That's where I keep, when I do a live stream, I have to move everything off the walls. So you can see, I, I have this one little shelf for knickknacks. It's only about five inches tall. And I lost my little elephant the last time I took a road trip because I didn't have it secured. So I can't have anything up there that's not secured. Oh my goodness, I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you, this is the way it is when you live in a small vehicle, people. You don't understand that we really don't have a room for gifts. So it sounds like I'm being a pain in the butt, but people think I'm ungrateful when I say, please don't send me gifts. I don't have a place for it unless I absolutely have to have it. When I go shopping, let's see if I can turn it here. So when I go shopping, oh, hang on, I'm just learning how to use this little, I have a selfie stick finally. I didn't have one before, but I do now. Uh, so when I go shopping, if I buy something, I better make sure I have a place for it or get rid of something. So what I do with the stuff I can use, I give it away. Uh, my manager here just came over to, told me today they're doing a yard sale Friday and Saturday. So if I want to put things out to sell, maybe some people will buy them. Anyhow, so unless you live in a very small rig, you don't, you could not possibly understand how hard is it, it is to accept gifts from people. So you can't go around telling people, don't send me a gift now, so you'd better be better off to send me five bucks or 10 bucks so I could go get away what I really need. But the bottom line is I do have a PayPal link on my channel. If somebody really wants to send me a gift, you can send me five bucks on PayPal and I can add those five dollars together and I can go out and buy exactly what I need. I know you want to do it from your heart, but I will see it the same way and I will make sure that I tell people that you send me uh, help and I do appreciate it. So don't feel like I don't acknowledge it or I don't recognize it, I do, but I just, I can't take any more gifts, people. I know you think you know what I need or what I should have, and I would love to have room to pour, pour all your little, little knickknacks and gifts and what have you, but I don't have. This is my dresser drawers. You can see that my dresser drawers are packed all the way to the far the back, and those really don't go there very deep, but they're all the way to the back, and even crammed in there. Everything's crammed in here. Extra ukulele and a tenor ukulele. I'm probably gonna try to sell it at the art sale because I had a friend I wanted to give it to, but she couldn't use it, so I tried to insist just like everybody else does, but she really couldn't use it. I have a little folding table here. Not that I have much place to open it up in here. I do on occasion if I really need extra table space. So maybe I'll show you the shed, just for a minute. Okay, that's what I had in there and it just took up way too much space. I'll show you. I have everything pretty organized as much as I can, but I have too much stuff. So all these containers are full. I have extra wood that I had to cut because it was sitting out in the rain, getting warped. It all got was getting warped. I have different things in here, like a telescope and ladder, a dolly, uh, my toolbox, paint supplies, my little shop, mini shop back for cleaning my floors in the truck, more tools. Just, these are all tools, a couple of small folding tables and another folding chair and paint, more paint, just tons of junk. But the, these are things I use, but the, you can see the shed is full. So this is a little mini trailer that Dan built me. I have the generator on there. 
I have extra propane on there, so the front is full and extra wood. I uh, have to be come off when I travel. I have another ladder here. And of course, I have, all these things are outside. When I travel, I have to pull it all up and put it into the trailer. So that's where I keep my spare tire and an extra little quarter shelter and my winter jacket and another dog kennel. That's my fire pit. I have odds and ends. Uh, that's a, actually a compressor in there. I have food supply. I'm trying to become a little better of a prepper, so I do, do have all food supply and extra water. I have my sewing machine in here and my Mr. Buddy here. This is my keyboard stand here. That's a little trailer that I have for the bike. I don't have the truck anymore. It wouldn't work out for me. So I sold the truck. This is an extra step for my truck if I need it. Another rug if, because it has to be replaced every six months when you look like this. And I have the outdoor ground mount. You can see that. So I kept that little mini trailer because I'm probably going to get some kind of a, I don't know, maybe I would like to get a seven speed beach cruiser, all terrain kind of thing. So that door is where I can pull the generator through to service the oil. If the generator runs, I'm running 100% propane to move all this stuff off the trailer when I travel. Everything has to come off. I have to get up on my telescoping ladder to clean my solar panels, which need it really bad. But I'm scared to get back up in there. I'm afraid I'm going to fall. Until I broke my back and then broke my wrist from standing on something, I wasn't afraid, but I, I'm a little bit nervous now. So where's Max? There he is. There's the Maxi. Let me open this screen. There's the Maxi, huh? What are you doing, Max? Hang on, I gotta come in here. So Maxi's just kind of chilling. So, but I really wanted people to understand I'm not ungrateful. I do appreciate all your gifts, all your thoughtfulness, but I don't have room, and if I need something, I can't wait three weeks. I only get my mail every week or two. And I can't wait three weeks if I really need it, so I just go out and buy it. So you really want to help me? Send me a $5 PayPal, or send me a super chat on my live streams, or send me $5 in an envelope. Mail it. You can get my mailing address if you email me. And if you really want to give me emotional support and more support on my channel, watch the videos. Watch the ads. I make some money on the ads. So hopefully I showed you everything I could to show you I am grateful for all your love and gifts, but I just don't have room for any more. Thank you so much. In closing, I want to say, I don't plan on staying in this RV park forever, so everything I own has to go in the truck and the trailer. I can't leave anything behind. I'm planning on getting back out off-grid. I want to travel a little bit, so I don't have room for anything else. So what I wanted to announce, I'm going to do an interview on Sunday on my live stream of Kenneth Boardman, a.k.a. Kenneth Oaks, on YouTube. He was born with cerebral palsy, and his papa, grandfather, has raised him. And it's quite an amazing young man. He never let his uh, disabilities stand in his way of being successful. He's accomplished a great deal. I think you want to come to the live stream and check Kenneth out. And he can use all the support he can get. I hope you'll show up. Please come today uh, for Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific time. There will be a thumbnail. And if you're interested, share this out. Uh, share that announcement out on YouTube, on so social media, and your community tab. I'm reaching out to all my content creator friends. Please. Share that out. Share the interview out on your channel, on your community tab tabs, on your Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Let's get Kenneth to a thousand subscribers and let's get him monetized. He definitely deserves it. He moderates for at least 30 channels on YouTube. He's at all of our live streams, visiting all our channels. He's one of the most supportive people on, I can imagine on YouTube. Please, if you don't know him, check him out on my interview. If you do know him, please shout him out. On my, I could be a, do an interview on Sunday. Please come. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I love you all.